What's up, Survivors Explorer Idra here, coming at you with another ARK Survival Evolved guide video. Now I know that ARK Survival Ascended is officially out, but maybe you were somebody who's still chilling on ARK Survival Evolved, you haven't made the jump yet, and because of that, I'm still going to be bringing a bunch of guide videos for a bunch of the different modded maps that are out there on the Steam community. Uh, as there are some great ones out there you guys so today i'm going to be bringing you guys a guide video to show you where you can get your hands on a bunch of the beaver huts and dams and cementing paste all that good stuff on the arc volcano map so i'm going to be taking you guys around i'm going to be showing you a bunch of different spots and because there are so many spots i'm going to put in some chapters for easy viewing for you but i will show off a bunch of different locations on this beautiful map and with that of course likes comments shares are always greatly appreciated not necessary but they do go a long ways to help me out and i do appreciate it and with that without further ado let's jump into some more scenic viewing shall we all right and spot number one is going to be at 51.2 by 16.7 on the gps and i've got my map out even though i've got no indicator but Basically, this is your aerial view, you guys, here. Uh, you can see a little bit around here. That's going to be Sheep Island right behind me. But we are at the crest of this waterfall right here on this island. Uh, get you guys a better aerial view, and you just come straight on down. There is already two beaver dams that are going on right here. This is going to be spot number one for you. All right, spot number two is going to be 42.0 by 21.2 on the GPS. That's the island that we just came from right over there, or the spot rather. And we are just hanging out right in this little this little inlet right here that goes down into a waterfall leading down this way. But we've got a beaver hut right down in here in this pool. And in order to get up to the spot number two here, you guys, there is just a, basically a pathway that just goes up this side. Hang a left, come up here, hang a right, and it leads you right up into the pool. All right, on to the next spot. All right, so for this next spot, we are situated here at 83.5 by 36.2 on the GPS. Uh, my map is out on the left there, but you can't see the indicator, unfortunately. But we are probably at one of my favorite places on this map. It's actually where I'm building my starter base here, up on that ledge. And it's just this area right here, you guys. So just off of the south shore there, you follow this river all the way up. And at this pool here is where you're going to find another beaver location. And I love this spot for a couple reasons, you guys. And one is because of the amount of metal nodes all along this valley and along that side of the valley and inside the cave, as well as some obsidian in here. Uh, plus, it's got this um, artifact explorer's note over here, uh, which is really neat that you can grab. But basically, the spot that I'm looking at right here in particular is right underneath me in this water. And we're going to dive in and grab this. And there we go. That's our beaver dam. So you will, a couple of these spots, you guys, you're going to have to be a little bit uh, on the lookout because it's not beaver huts, it's beaver dams, uh, potentially. So they're pretty easy to miss, as you will see. But that's going to be our next location. All right, survivors, and for our next beaver dam location, we are currently sitting at 80.7 by 37.2 on the GPS. And we are, in fact, actually just above our last location. So we just came up this giant waterfall, and at the top of this plateau is going to be more river with a bunch more beaver dam locations. Now, to get up here, however, you guys, you're going to need either a flyer or, good, I guess, a climbing pick, or there is a natural incline over on this side of the volcano south side of this map, uh, which you can come up over here at the bottom and trail and scale all along this cliff edge here up to the top, which will bring you right out here. And so now for here, we've got a couple of beaver dams that I saw before. So there's going to be one here, and then there's going to be another one down over here. So another great spot to come for some more beavers. Oh, look, and there's one more at the very end. However, just keep in mind, this spot might be a little bit more dangerous. You can see the wrecks there going around. All right, for this next spot, we are currently sitting at 81.3 by 62.6 on the GPS here, you guys. Uh, this spot here is, it's just off the edge of the desert biome here. And just over here is going to be kind of the, the south of the volcano uh, map. But it doesn't 
really have a lot of beaver huts to it, I've found, even playing in my original playthrough a long time ago. Um, but, I mean, currently there's there's one hut right there, but it is kind of nice if you are building on this side of the map in particular. Uh, there's a lot of metal and obsidian around here, plus you've got access to oil nodes, uh, silk, all that good stuff. So this might be a viable spot if you're just flying around or if you've built a base somewhere on this side of the map, then to be able to come and check out for beavers. All right, and for this next spot, we are currently sitting on this giant island here at 17.8 by 15.9. Uh, basically, it is the island in the very top left of my map here, you guys, without the indicator. But basically, um, they, you're just going to come up onto the shore for the most part, and then you're just going to make your way through. And you can come up here, and it comes up this path, hang a left and then come up to the top, swing a right, and you're going to be looking for these pools right over here. Do keep in mind, this is a more dangerous spot, you guys. There is alphas, uh, there's basilisks. You can see one kind of hanging out right down below there. Um, so it is a dangerous spot, but a good place to maybe come and maybe tame up a basilisk. But basically, inside this giant pool here, you guys, I found that there's a beaver dam there, a beaver dam there. Come a little bit further this way, and there's a beaver hut over here. Uh, inside there is going to be a cave that you can get an artifact from. There's an entrance over there. I'll show it off in a future video. But there's going to be a bunch of other resources up here, you guys. So there's going to be some metal, some crystal, uh, some obsidian. There is even some uh, elemental uh, nodes here that give some uh, elemental shard or element shard, sorry, and some ambergris, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, another great spot to come. All right, another location for you guys, 29.6 by 48.3 on the GPS. We are currently right in between the edge of the Redwoods where it meets the snow biome. So I'll zip up here, you guys. There's a river that runs all the way through on both sides between the two biomes. Basically, you're just looking for this spot here with this log that is like a land bridge that connects the two. But in the pool here is going to be another beaver hut. Just keep in mind that there will be piranha in here, and once you get in here, <laughs> it might be a little tricky getting back out. So uh, do keep in mind that as soon as you snag that, you're going to have the the uh, beavers on you, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, there's a little spot over here that you can get in and out of to get to access to the beaver hut. All right, another spot in the desert for you guys here, 79.4 by 78.7 .7 on my GPS here. Ooh, there's that's all up there. Um, so right now we are currently sitting in this pool right here with this kind of a uh, Lion King pride rock sticking out of it. But we are kind of at the top of the desert here, you guys. So it is a little bit more dangerous getting up here. Uh, there will be some more kind of dangerous creatures like Thylas and Carnos, and there's a Basilisk over there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but there's a couple ways of getting up here. And there's also a, um, a research note up here as well, too, that you can access. But down in this pool right here, where you can see the beavers are swimming around, is going to be Beaver Hut. Now, there's only one here. I don't know how many come up, but this is one of your spots. All right, and so my last location for you guys here, and probably one of my personal favorites, we are sitting at 70.3 by 48.6 on the GPS. And your guys' aerial view, it is a little bit hard to see. There we go. I'll knock it down. That's the volcano over there. This is one of my personal favorite spots just because of where it is located. I love this spot, you guys. There's a cave around here as well, too. If you're not familiar with, I'm going to do another video in the future for with some amazing resources. And that's one of the reasons why I really like this spot is because it is so close to that access. But this is going to be the giant pool here. There's a top level, bottom level. You can see there is a beaver hut there. There's a beaver dam there. There's another hut over here. So this is just a great location to come get a ton of cementing paste. Do keep in mind that there are some um, dangerous creatures around here. Uh, there was a bloodstalker that was running around. Looks like it got killed by some deodons over here. So yes, bloodstalkers do roam around in this area. Uh, there is some. There was raptors and some carnos and I want to say the T-Rex that was rolling around here too, maybe. But yeah, just keep that in mind. But that's going to be it.
Now, I know that there were some other spots on this map that I didn't get to show off, you guys. There's a lot of spots with, with uh, beaver huts and cementing paste to it. Uh, there was a spot in the swamp that I went to go back and look for, but it was not there anymore. At least there was nothing that was spawning there. I was trying to show off some spots in kind of each one of the different corresponding biomes as much as possible. Um, but with that, if you know of a spot that you have that you picked up cementing paste on the spot, we'll drop a comment down below. And if you got the coordinates, even better, share those in there as well, too. So with that, um, if you guys are looking to get your hands on one of the underwater artifacts, then be sure to click on the video that you see now on your screen. Otherwise, please, if you don't mind, drop a like on the way out the door. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.